welcome back to my channel. My name is Adele and today I wanted to show you how to do this colorful, vivid makeup look. I added white liner to keep the look open and fresh and I went for a nude lip because I wanted all the attention to go to the eyes. I hope you like my videos and if you do, please subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. But for now, if you want to know how I created this look, just keep on watching. I'm going to begin by priming my face with the Step 1 Magnifying Primer by Makeup Forever. Instantly, all shine will disappear. However, my face is not going to stay as matte as it is now. But this product is going to keep all the oils in control without over drying my face. It's also important to prime the lips, especially when you're going to apply matte lipsticks because flaky lips are not cute. And this lip treatment by Milani is very moisturizing and it smells also very nice. Then I'm gonna move on to foundation. This is the Ultra HD by Makeup Forever. And this foundation has medium coverage and is super lightweight. If you have a lot of blemishes, then you definitely have to layer it on. And here I'm just blending it with a flat top makeup brush. Now I'm going to highlight with the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm using the shade Medium Beige. It's my favorite cream highlighter. It's not too thick to blend or too thin because sometimes your dark circles can shine through the concealer. But with this one, I don't have that. And I'm gonna blend everything out with this super cute blending sponge. Then it's time to bake. The darkness under my eyes is gone, but I still have deep lines and baking is gonna make it disappear as well. You can use the Sasha Buttercup or the Ben Eye Banana Powder. To me, there is no difference between them. I'm gonna set the rest of my face. Like this, the foundation will stay put. And I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Next, I'm going to do my brows and I love this micro brow pencil. It's so precise that I don't have to carve out my brows with concealer anymore. It has a brush on one side and the pencil on the other side and it's super creamy and easy to use. After, I'm gonna fill them in using this deep brow pomade by Anastasia with a small angled brush. Make sure you don't take too much on your brush because this product is really pigmented. Now I'm going to start with the eyes by priming them with the LA Girl Professional Primer in white. This is a nice base to make my eyeshadow really pop. I'm gonna take this cute little Z palette and the shade Crème Brûlée by Makeup Geek and I'm gonna put this in my upper crease and I'm gonna blend everything out all the way to the brows. I want this area to be matte and it's important to use a transition shade to make blending easier. I'm going to bring in my 35B color glam palette 
and it's one of my favorites. You have every single color to make a nice bright summer look but first I'm gonna apply this yellow shade in the middle of my lid. You want to pack it on and don't wipe because you don't want the creamy base to move. Then I'm gonna take that orange color and I'm gonna apply it in the front and again I'm not gonna wipe the eyeshadow. Here I'm lifting up my brush and with the edge I'm gonna blend the eyeshadow in the crease. And of course don't forget to blend in between the two shades. Then I'm gonna take Coco Bear by Makeup Geek and I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did with the orange color. I'm taking Crème Brûlée again and I'm gonna blend everything out with a fluffy brush. I'm gonna move on to wing liner, so I'm taking an angled brush with longer bristles and I'm gonna use my deep brow pomade by Anastasia. I didn't want to go with black eyeliner because I thought the contrast would be too harsh with the bright colors, but of course if you want you can use black. Before I do my lower lash line, I'm gonna remove the excess baking powder. Now I can apply the white liner not only in my waterline but also in my lash line and inner tear duct. Then I'm taking that white color from the Morphe palette and I'm gonna dab it in my tear duct. And I'm also gonna apply that yellow, orange and that warm brown color in my lash line. Now I'm going to apply a second wing with the white liquid liner by NYX. So I'm gonna trace the line under my first wing and I'm also gonna apply it in my waterline because I got some eyeshadow there and it wasn't white enough anymore. Then I'm gonna apply the best mascara ever. For now just one coat on the top lashes because I'll be applying falsies but a lot on the bottom lashes. Now I can apply my falsies, number 143 by Eiler, with the lash glue by Essence, but I'm gonna do this off camera because it's difficult to do this on camera. My eyes are finished, so I can get back to the face. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, to contour and bronze my face so I'm going to use that cool tone shade espresso to blend it under my cheekbones and to contour my forehead and my chin
Then I'm going to warm up my face with cinnamon and I'm going to apply it above my contour on my cheeks and under my contour on my forehead and also a little bit on my jawline. Now I'm taking nutmeg to contour my nose and I always use a lighter color to contour the nose because I don't like harsh lines in the middle of the face. Next up is blush and I'm gonna blush with Coral Cove by Milani. I wanted a nice flush but I didn't want something that was going to overpower the orange on my eyelids. So this blush was perfect. Also when you have light and medium skin tone, coral blushes look nice and natural on the skin. Of course I have to powder highlight and this Colourpop highlight is amazing. It has a gel to powder texture and it melts into the skin and leaves a nice glamorous sheen. So I'm going to put this on the very top of my cheekbones, bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. Next is lip liner. I'm going to take chocolate chip by Bourgeois to line my lips. And I'm only going to line where I want my lips to be fuller. And lastly, I'm going to apply lipstick. This one by Maybelline is one of my favorites. It's a perfect nude for my skin tone. If you apply liquid lipsticks, you want to blot all excess moisture from the lips. But this one is more like a cream or velvet and not so liquidy, so it's not necessary. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!